Hello guys, this is Fratoso with a series Programming They Don't Teach in Class. This is a C and C++ tutorial on how to treat external files as the standard input and standard output. Now by default, the keyboard is the standard input and the screen is the standard output. Now here we'll see how we can redefine really those standard inputs and outputs to be files like this one. So here I have created this file, contains couple of records for students and uh, each record having a file name I mean the student name and uh, his course for two different subjects. So what you're going to do here is create a program that will pass in all this data and for each student just displaying the name and the average of the two scores. So let us begin. So I'll start by creating a C skeleton and uh, so I'll take the input and output header and uh, the skeleton for the main function. Okay, so the first thing is to define this file to be our standard input. So this is achieved by using the function file reopen. It takes in three parameters. The first one is the file name, so it is input.txt. And then the next one is the mode. We are going to read from the file, so the mode is read, which is R. And then the stream we are redefining, and we are redefining the standard input stream. So this is the end of redefining the stream. Then the next thing is uh, we'll be passing in all this data. Now each record will need to pass in the name and then two integers. So I'm going to redefine to define here the co the holders for for those uh, uh, data. And uh, the first thing is uh, an array of characters, which is going to be the name of the particular student. And then I'll need uh, first and second scores variables so i'll sort them in first and second so we are ready now to begin then the next step is to move from the beginning to the end of this file so because i don't know how many records are contained in the file then the best loop to use is a while loop so i'll use a while loop and the terminating condition of this while loop is going to be the end of the file so f end of file function is what I'm going to use and the, the stream that I'm going to check for the end of the file is the standard uh, input stream so I put std in here so while the, this end is not reached I need uh, a note here so while this end of the file is not reached I'm going to do a couple of things here so the first thing is to read in the records for that particular row so the format for each record is a stream and then we have space here we have colon and then we have space and then we have the first integer we have space and then we have the next integer so we are going to to write this exactly the same way in our scan uh, f uh, function so scan f function is what you need to input the values and the first thing is uh, we need to include the format and then uh, the variable names so the format is a string and then space colon and then space the first integer space the second integer so this is the format of each record in our input file so where do we want to store this string we want to store it in name and then the next variable which is a decimal number we want to store it in in first and the next one in second and um, scan f takes in addresses of these variables because we are going to modify their values so we need to include uh, uh, an end here and uh, an end sign here so after getting these uh, three values the next thing is to display the name and the average of these two contents so to display i use print f and uh, again it takes in two things the first is the format and then uh, the contents so the format is i'm going to display a string and then i'm going to display uh, a decimal number and then i'll end that line now because i want it to display nicely i'll add a tab before the decimal number so this string should be obtained from name and then this decimal number here that is going to be displayed should be obtained from the average of first and second so it is first plus second and then uh, divide by two 
So this is really what we need to, for, for each line to get the contents and then to display them. And you are going to repeat this process for each line unless uh, the end of the file is reached. And it is the end of this standard input uh, stream which we have defined to be our file. So let me run this program and see. Okay, so you can see here the results of our program. So for each record, we have the name being displayed as well as the average of these two scores for that particular student. You can see here the second one is 5, which is the average of 10 and 0. So this is how you can uh, redefine a standard input to be a particular file. Now, our standard output here is this console screen. So how do we define it to be another file as well? We just need to include another F reopen here. So F reopen, and uh, it is going to take uh, three variables, I mean parameters. So the first one is going to be the name of our output file. I'll name it results.txt. The mode this time is right because we want to write the contents into that file. And the stream we are redefining is the standard output stream. So that is all you need. Now I'm going to rerun. This time I see nothing in this console screen here because my results are in this file here because this file is going to be the standard output. And you can see these are the results as we saw in the console screen before. So this is how you can redefine the standard input to be an external file and the standard output as well to be an external file. This is a very useful tool. Learn it well. Thank you. See you next time.